Hey guys, in this video we are going to discuss the lead code problem number 208 that is implement try or prefix tree. Uh, I have almost covered everything in my previous try video that is needed to solve this problem like uh, the try applications, the visualization and uh, how we are going to implement tries using various examples. So if you have not watched that, I recommend you to watch it before proceeding otherwise you might not be able to get everything that I am discussing here because uh, I would be just coding whatever I have discussed in the previous video. So let us start now. Uh, so this is the problem statement like uh, implement a try with insert search and start with methods. Right, uh, so uh, this is an example that we are given uh, try try is equal to new try that is we are creating a new object um, a try and we are inserting apple to it initially the try was empty and we are adding this apple word to it right and then we are searching for the apple since the apple word was already inserted the search uh, search query would obviously return true and then uh, we if we ask for app if we uh, want to search app app would return false because it is not there but uh, uh, if we query for starts with app that is uh, whether this app word comes in as a prefix in any of the word that is stored in the try so yes it is there in apple the app is a prefix so it, uh, it is returning true then we are inserting app again and then searching for that app now the app word is there so it will be returning true so this is the problem statement and we have to implement these functions like uh, we are given these empty functions and we have to fill in values over here so that everything is would be working fine right so uh, let's get started in the previous video we discussed about a generic try class that would be able to solve multiple problems uh, it, it is because of the data members that we took uh, like the prefix count and the leaf count right um, vector of try star children we took and it is for storing the addresses of the child nodes that is characters and uh, integer prefix count prefix count is used to store the number of words in the try that starts with a given prefix that is for example uh, let's say um, the prefix is app and we are trying to find out how many times this uh, prefix has come and let's say the try is only apple in that so it will say prefix count is one right so like that uh, and for the leaf count it is giving the frequency of word in the try so these were the things that we took and we would be doing the same here as well right so we have got uh, four functions to fill in that is the first is the constructor that is we are given this class try and I am coding in C++ so this is the class try and this is a try constructor and we have to fill these three functions more like insert function, search function and starts with function right for the uh, initialization of data structure we have to initialize it here like uh, vector of uh, try star children and uh, integer prefix count and integer uh, leaf count right and here let us initialize it at the time of uh, construction of object like in the constructor uh, we are making children dot resize yeah we know that the initializations were children vector has size 26 representing the 26 english alphabets all will be initialized to null so we would be creating 26 null then uh, also prefix count and leaf count will be initialized to 0 so let us do that so we are done with the initializations we can go to these functions now for inserting the word in the try let us check out whether the word has a length greater than 0 otherwise there is no need of inserting it right so we would be checking if word dot size equal to 0 if we say so uh, we would be returning just yes, since it is void so we would be just returning so another way of writing this is like for faster 
writing we can use it like this so i would be using it further so mark it then uh, i would be making a utility function insert util and uh, that would be taking this uh, particular object this is used to take the object which is calling and then i would be sending this word and i would be starting with the index 0 of this particular word right so let's define this utility function so void insert util and uh, for uh, storing the this object so we are taking try star no and then for storing of this word and taking note that i'm passing this uh, string as uh, passed by reference so that the time consume would be less also i'm taking index i okay so in i for storing the index present index of the word we would be traversing the word right from the index 0 to the end of the word and our uh, keynote is to like uh, whenever we are uh, not at the last letter of the word we would be incrementing the prefix count right and we would be going to the children further and further like for a then we'll go to p for apple we would be starting from a then p p l then e on e on coming e we have to increment the prefix count and leaf count both right so just that we would be doing so um if i can say uh if i is equals to the end of the letter like uh, the letter uh, it is the last letter so it, if i is equals to word dot size then i would be incrementing both the prefix count and the leaf count right so notes prefix count plus plus and notes um leaf count plus plus right and we would be just returning so whenever i am the last letter it's done after incrementing those uh, prefix count and leaf count and if i am not at the last letter of the word what i would be doing is um i'd be just incrementing this prefix count and then i would be going to the next letter how would i go to the next letter so index i i is maintaining the index of the current letter right in the word so i will just have to go to the next letter so firstly i was starting from uh, like the root node so uh, i would be checking for the particular letter right i would be going to that letter so let's say uh, apple i would be going to eighth uh, node right so the node which is representing it and if that particular node is not present we have to make that node so not present means the particular position in the vector try star children is null so if so that is a check we are going to make if children if nodes children and the index is the present letter right so present letter is denoted by word i minus a because that will give me the index because word i will give me the letter minus a will give me the index of the particular uh, location in the vector so is an, is equals equals null and another way of writing is not here so if a particular it is null so we have to make a new node for it so we would be making that and storing it here okay so like we discussed in the previous video so new try so that is all we are going to do and we are going to that child node so insert util then i'm going to this uh, child node and then i would be passing this word and incrementing my index so i think that is all for this insert like firstly we are checking this then calling insert util if uh, i'm not at the last character i'm just incrementing the prefix count and going if the children doesn't exist uh, children with that letter doesn't exist i'll be making one and going uh, setting the address to that and going to that address so it will end up when i reach the last letter incrementing the prefix count as well as the leaf count
Now let's write the search and start with functions. The search function will return true if the word exists in the try, otherwise it will return false. For the uh, first case that I have to handle is the boundary case that is whether the word length is greater than 0 or not. If the word length is 0 then it doesn't make any sense right. So we can assume it is an empty string. I will assume that it uh, already exists in the try right. So I will be returning true for it. So I would be checking if word dot size equals equals null or we can write as if not word dot size like word dot size equals equals 0 right. So then I will be returning true. Otherwise I would be calling my search util function. What it is gonna do is like uh, we have to uh, take the input word and let us say for apple um, and I will be checking whether apple exists in a try or not by firstly going to the first index that is uh, app that is a and then I would be trying to reach the last letter of the word right. If I am able to reach the last letter of the word that is e in apple and uh, I would be checking that whether the leaf count is greater than 0 or not. If it is that then I will be returning true otherwise returning false. So this is the basic logic so let us write that. So I will be uh, like passing this uh, object which is calling it and then the string word then the index I will be starting from the index 0 and so we can say so for this I have to make a try star let us say node then for the word I have I am taking a string ampersand because I am passing it by reference then this is int i right and then um, yeah if anywhere in the middle I get null that I am not able to reach that is if uh, node is equals to null then I would be returning false from here itself if then if it is uh, if I am able to reach it might happen that it is the last letter of the word. So if that is the case then I would be checking out the nodes leaf count leaf count right. So if no uh, nodes leaf count is greater than 0 I will be returning true otherwise returning false. So this is handled by this one statement and otherwise if I am in the middle somewhere then I will be calling its child node right. So nodes children word i minus a this I have done it before also. So this is word and incrementing the index right. So I think this is word dot size search util yeah also I have to return this since the return type is bool similarly here ok. So similar is the case with the prefix one that is starts with function. I can make a util function for start with also and this is quite similar only some minor changes are there let me show you. So for the prefix also I would be reversing from the index 0 to the last index of the prefix that we are given and at the end if I reach to the end of the letter of the prefix and I find that the prefix count is greater than 0 then that prefix is present in the in any word in the try right. So if not prefix dot size return true otherwise this prefix 0 and for this also uh, yeah for starts with the name would be changing it starts with util here as well so here also. So I have done this also this is the prefix so I am replacing word with prefix everywhere so here also and here and uh, in this one more thing one major thing that instead of the leaf count I will have to check the prefix count. So I think this should work now like uh, if prefix size uh, is 0 then return true otherwise return starts with util and this prefix 0 and if not node return false if i equals prefix dot size just check whether the node prefix answer is greater than 0 or not if it 
correct is then return true otherwise false and then return the recursively go to the child and child and child until you reach the last letter so i think this should work let's check that out yeah i think this is working let's submit it this is working fine so that's it thank you if you have any doubts please feel free to ask in the comment section below and if you have found the video informative please like the video and for the future channel updates please subscribe to the channel that's it for now thanks for watching